morning everybody and welcome to my farm tour. My name is Debbie Needham and uh, welcome to Wagoon. Wagoon is the name of the farm and it's taken from the Aboriginal language um, and it means scrub turkey. When we moved here eight years ago there was lots of scrub turkeys around um, but as we've uh, lived here they've sort of migrated back more into the bush. Um, hey Lily. Um, the garden. Uh, oh, and thank you to the um, organisers for um, including me in this tour. I've ha really enjoyed um, looking at everyone else's gardens. Um, I've looked at lots of gardens um, and travelled a fair bit and there's never a garden that I haven't come away from loving or finding a new idea or concept. Now when we tour my garden, probably the thing you'll notice the most is the formal nature of the garden bed layouts. Um, I particularly like um, the formal design of gardens and um, the top garden where we're sitting now is based on a potager, a French potager garden and the bottom garden is based on an English walled garden. Now um, I like straight lines, I like everything neat and tidy and as you may have noticed in my previous talk about bed prep, my string line is my best friend. Now forgive me for being so anal in this respect but um, it doesn't mean that that's my only principle when it comes to gardening. I do like lots of concepts um, from other genres, genres and um, I like to think of myself as an interdisciplinary farmer. So within the very formal design of the garden, there's lots of other principles that I um, do adhere to. Um, for example, um, I like to uh, do a lot of my jobs according to the moon. Um, we do use uh, biodynamic um, peppers um, and we, I'm also very interested in the nutrient um, farming where your purpose is to improve the soil so that the nutrient density of your plants is very high. Um, I also like the companion plant and these aspects you'll see within my garden. garden. Um, I often just refer to it as the top garden and the bottom garden but my goals for this garden um, is that everything is edible and that doesn't mean just edible for humans it means um, edible to the native bees, the European bees, the moths. Um, so predominantly in this garden are herbs and flowers. Going on this arbor um, it was specifically built so that I could grow sweet peas and I have an heirloom variety that I'm trialing and um, I've only planted that variety so that I can save the seed. By springtime this whole arbor should be covered in the sweetest scent so I'm really looking forward to that. Down in the bottom garden which I want to model off a walled English garden. Unfortunately I don't have a lovely two or three hundred year old wall so I plan on growing a hedge around the outside um, and this will serve two purposes for me I mean aesthetically um, but also it will protect this garden from the westerly winds we get. So uh, gardens are processes they take time and the hedge is going to go in this year which I'm really excited about but if you have a look here I just want to show you this side of the garden I've got the four mm. garden plots 
on this side of the garden. They're all in various stages of um, growth and I want you to see um, what one person can achieve on her own and um, that gardens aren't always wonderful. I'd love it if you could come back in July because I'll have everything looking amazing but with the terrible drought last year then the rain um, it's only really been the perfect time to farm for the last couple of months actually isolation was perfect so let's come and have a look at the garden that I've um, been planting the most zoom in on this garden and we'll have a quick talk about what we've got in here as I mentioned to you before I love growing companion plants um, so we've got the sunflowers with the silver beet um, you'll see perennial uh, leeks you'll see potatoes behind that and broad beans um, if we keep walking down here And we'll just peek around this edge of the garden. You can see um, just what I'm planting on the other side. So this is relatively new planting. And I've got onions, uh, beetroot and silver beet. My garlic's up. And then I'm growing the nasturtiums with the uh, snow peas. So the snow peas will grow up those trellises and it'll all look very beautiful in a few months. So here we are in the second plot and you can see that the plant growth is uh, much smaller because this, these plants have only been in for about a month or so. You can see the two front beds that have been recently mulched were the beds that I was talking about in bed prepping. So we're just going to zoom in. I've already got some pansies planted and I've direct sowed the calendula seed as you can see that. Now if we look up um, and we walk along the rest of the rows you can see that all my broad beans I've got a next a six second succession of broad beans coming up and the next rose broad beans and then we get into the cabbages I've grown two varieties this year and then um, zooming up you can see this some cauliflowers and the sunflowers in the distance on the other side of the sunflowers I've got fennel planted in two successions and you can see that the calendulas and the violas are on this side as well. You can also have a look at my irrigation system which um, at the moment I'm just using these stand-up sprinklers which are working very effectively. Here we are in the Wagoon apiary and as you can see I have quite a few hives. Um, I started off only wanting three to six but got addicted. Um, Martine Nord whose farm you've already looked at, her garden a few days ago, introduced me to my mentor Pat who is a retired uh, army veteran and he has helped me grow the six hives I bought from him into the 33 hives I have today. Just standing here it's a bit overcast so we're not going to go too close to them but I'm getting a heavenly scent from the honey that um, they must be finding from somewhere which is such a good sign. Um, so we won't do any more than this today because it's just not the right conditions. I hope you've enjoyed a tour of my garden and I look forward to answering your questions um, when we do the Facebook live. We're going to do it here at my propagation table and we're going to have a quick chat about how I grow my seeds into seedlings and how I propagate um, cuttings. So see you soon.